Hi everyone, I'm Rick Zanotti, and you're watching Captivating, the Adobe Captivate podcast. Wherever you are today, I hope you're having a great day. We've all seen really good e-learning that takes advantage of video, audio, graphics, and everything that makes it compelling, interesting, and more engaging. Well, did you know that you can use Flash Video inside of Captivate? Well, you can, and it's actually pretty easy. Let me show you how. All right, Captivate is open, and I want to create a blank project. So I'll click on that. We'll default to the 800 by 600 full screen size there. I'll say OK. You can change the resolution to anything you'd like. Captivate, as always, starts with a blank slide in your new project. Double clicking on that, I want to go to the film strip and I'm going to press Control Shift J two times. Control Shift J inserts a blank slide. Now, in our first slide, we want to insert a flash video. Now, to find our video, we hit the browse button. And in this case, I want the NEO intro video. I'll double click on that. Captivate defaults to giving us a very basic play bar, or skin as they call it. And if I decided that's great, I could hit OK and it'd probably work OK. But in this case, I want no skin, partly because I have a narrator that I'm bringing in with a transparent background, and I want her to seamlessly fit in the background. Now, pressing OK will give us something we may not want. Uh-oh, Captivate does not like what we did. Why? Because Captivate, when you have no skin, has no way of starting the video unless you hit autoplay. By hitting autoplay, the video will start by itself automatically. Now, there are some other things we want to look at, and that's under options. And Captivate will show the video in one of four ways as far as time goes. It will show the video for a specific time. Here's where you decide how long you want the video to show for. Do you want 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds of the video, a minute? Whatever amount of time you want, that's all that will play for that video. You can also show the video for the rest of the slide. That means the video will play until you hit a next button or something else to take you out of that slide. And the thing about that is it's good because the video will not play outside of that, of that particular slide. You also have an option to play the video for the rest of the project. Now, you probably don't want that because that means that video will be up your entire project. Uh, finally, you, have, uh, you can play the video till the end of the video. Now, that sounds like a good option, but the problem there is if you choose that and you navigate from one screen to another to another, that video will stay up and continue playing until it is completely done. That may not be an option you want. So in this case, we will say rest of slide. And then there is another option, which is to pause the slide until the end of the video. This is great. If you don't have a navigation button like a next button or a, or a previous button, this will force the slide to stop as if you had a button on it until that video has stopped playing. Very good because that way you know that video is only going to be on that one slide. Now you have the option of changing the transition. In this case, we will say we only want it to fade in. And I think we're done with our options. We'll say OK. And there's our video. You can move your video around the screen. You can resize the video. In this case, let's say, well, I'll leave it for, for right now, and I'll show you what it looks like later. I'm going to press F4 or Publish or Preview. Welcome to Aqua. I'm Nancy White, Global Director of Human Resources. She looks great. She's got a white background behind her. And you may be wondering, wait a minute, you said it was transparent. How do we know that? And that's a good point. Let me change the slide background so you can see her with a different color. Uh, let's try red. And I will say OK. So now there's a red background. I'll press F4 again for preview. Welcome to Aqua. I'm Nancy White, Global Director. And she looks great. Why? Because she was done in After Effects. After Effects does a great job of getting rid of green backgrounds or matting out a background for a video. It just creates very clean edges. Now, she's a little large. Let's say I click on the video. That brings up my bounding box and my, my points. I'm going to drag her to about half size. If I press F4 again. Welcome to Aqua. 
Blackwell. I'm Nancy White. Now she looks a little less threatening on the screen. She's a little bit smaller. On our second slide, we want to insert one more video. This time we're going to insert our exit video. So we'll go to Flash Video again. Let's browse. And we will browse for the NEO outro. Again, we get a play bar. We don't want the play bar. We'll say none. We'll make sure autoplay is on. Let's go to our options. And we want to make it for rest of slide, which it was on. We want to make sure it's paused. It is. Let's change our transition to fade in only. And we will say OK. So here is our second video. I'll bring it over there. This time I'll move it on the left so she can move around a bit. And let's change her background to black on this slide, just to give it a little bit of variety from, from the other one. So we'll say black. OK. Now, if I press F4, I'm going to run this through from the beginning to end. Watch what happens. Welcome to Aquos. I'm Nancy White, Global Director of Human Resources. Congratulations on completing the Aqua New Employee Orientation. So you notice the videos flowed pretty well. I'm going to make one change now. First of all, let's look at our slide in number one, in slide one. The duration of the slide is the three seconds. We're going to leave it like that. But in our video, I'll double click on the flash video, I'm going to change the option. This time, we're not going to do rest of, sl of slide, we're going to say rest of video, or the duration of the video. Notice our pause button has gone away. Now it will not pause uh, the slide through the project. We'll say OK. Now watch what happens. And this is what happens to a lot of people, which is why they don't like FLVs. I press F4. Welcome to Aqua. I'm Nancy White, Global Congratulations on completing the Aqua New Employee OK, no, you haven't gone crazy. There were two of them. The first slide was only on for three seconds. She was on for the duration of the video. So what happens after three seconds, it automatically goes to the next slide, which has a video, and now both are playing. And you don't have any control of how to stopping them once that happens. So this is a limitation in the way Captivate deals with, with videos to a point. But um, just be aware, as long as you leave that video on rest of slide, you will not have that problem. And that is a problem that uh, was there in the old days, uh, not that long ago, and has been fixed uh, by giving you the option now to say rest of slide. Well, there you have it. It's very easy to use Flash Video inside of Captivate to make your pieces look better. Bring them to life a little bit. For Captivating, I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for listening, watching, and subscribing. Oh, and before I forget, please follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash rigzanotti. And also, come take a look at our blog. It's rigzonlearning.blogspot.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Relate provides professional e-learning, corporate video, web collaboration, and voiceover services. Need help? Call 1-800-428-3708 or visit our website at www.relate.com.